Hi, I'm Tanner. Welcome to the Backroad Diaries. Before it was named Sangudo, this northern Alberta hamlet of around 300 was called Deep Creek after this waterway. While the true meaning behind the name Sangudo has been forgotten, local historians say the name is an acronym that honors the people who worked to make this place a home. Over a hundred years later, that deep-rooted community spirit persists as strong as ever. Like many other rural communities, Sangudo struggles with maintaining local businesses and finding new families to populate the community. In spite of these challenges, a dedicated group created the Sangudo Opportunity Development Cooperative to find new ways to invest in the community. A group of local people were really concerned about our town falling apart, dying, mm -hmm. and uh, we realized that we had to do more than just fix up playgrounds and buy kids ball uniforms. We needed to do something to help our local economy. It was a new kind of volunteering where we could not only do our volunteer work to help our community socially, but we could also throw our money together and invest together. We're not just building businesses, we're building community. Whether we're invested financially with one another in the co-op or whether we're still doing volunteer projects, there's still a sense of, of real camaraderie and, and this feels to those of us that are invested in the community to be a safe place and a fun place and we continue to look for times to say, hey, let's go canoeing together or let's go have a barbecue together. Oh, that's great, yeah. We, we bring out the, the gifts and the talents of each person that, you know, bring something to the table. Since its start in 2009, the SODC has invested nearly a million dollars back into the community. The impressive list of SODC projects includes the creation of Sangudo Custom Meats, a butcher shop that employs local youth, providing them with lifelong training and skills. In recent years, the SODC has also purchased lots in the hamlet to build homes for new families in the hopes of revitalizing the local housing market. Dan showed us the first of these beautiful homes. There's a totally different feel with investing within your community. Um, you can not just reap the um, financial rewards, but the social rewards yeah. of investing in your community. I love coming to work every single day to see the residents of this town because they're so fantastic. The people of Sangudo make Sangudo, and there's not a lot of us, but um, we do a lot of fun things here, and everybody just kind of works together to make it happen. It's not just a place where people can live, but it's a place where people can know each other and know their neighbors. and work together and play together. I don't really care if it grows, but I want it to I want people to really thrive and to feel good about living here. I think that we see that the key to success and happiness is relationships. Close relationships with people that we know and we like and we trust. And we want to build more of that and we want to have other people to experience that as well. I really don't know what I could say is the, the drive or the, the passion other than helping people to live happy lives. What is there to say about the Olers? The Oilers? <laughs> there isn't enough good to say about the Oilers. Yeah. They, I don't know. For me, just for me personally, they are fantastic friends, huge supporters, um, and wonderful mentors and life coach. 